The next thing I'm going to cover really quickly is impact testing. Impact testing. It's used to measure toughness. Toughness. Energy absorbed in fractor. absorbed in fracture. So, what does that mean? That means I just simply get a hammer. This has not changed in 120 years. It's that good a test. Everything else is changing or improved. This has stayed the same because it's perfect. You have a specimen with set dimensions with a V-notch cut in the middle like so. There's your stress razor, just there, from when we were talking about fracture. And the hammer hits it from that side. And it snaps it. So we're starting out with a hammer sitting up here. I'm just drawing simplistically. Hammer sitting up there. There's the baseline. There's your test specimen. Oops, there's underneath. Okay. So there's your test specimen, that little square there. This hammer, it's there. That's got a certain starting height. Potential energy is mgh. So that's its starting energy. It's that, obviously, it needs energy to break the specimen. The specimen absorbs energy when it's broken. Toughness is energy absorbed in fracture. So we just measure how far up the hammer goes on the other side. M, G, H. A different energy because it's gone up a different height. The starting energy, start, equals M, G, H, 1. We'll call that height 1. GH2 finish is fracture plus mass times gravity times the second height. Measure the remaining potential energy. So all that energy at the start gets converted into fracture, the energy needed to break it, plus the energy that's left. So it's just simply you measure that difference in height and you get the fracture energy. So fracture, energy equals mg times the difference in height. That is basically what toughness testing is. There's two forms. There's a sharpie. specimen. The hammer's coming that way. And it's hitting it like that. H because it's horizontal. And R or rectangular. Isolate. The Izod test also has a circular cross section of the test piece. The notch faces the hammer as I've drawn it. I've made a mistake in the next part of this video. Both equally valid, they're both equally proven. They're still used today. They were developed over a hundred years ago. The machine they used on the Harbour Bridge to test the Harbour Bridge specimens is still in use today. It's got to be, a, or it is 100 years old. The Harbour Bridge was built in 1928. So the machines last forever. That's how an impact or a toughness test works.